G'day, I'm David G. Sheshnag Yoga Center. What on earth is Kundalini? This video is about Tantra, Agama, and my near death experience. About three years ago, I manifested this experience with a beautiful lady. Lasted eight weeks. Somehow I ended up in Thailand on an island called Koh Tao. And I was in the throes of trying to convince her to come back to Australia. She was from Israel. She was beautiful, as all the ladies in my life are, and most beings are if you look into their soul. So I was sitting on Koh Tao, and I'm looking across to Koh Pangang, thinking, oh, man, I had this little bit of an attraction to go to the Agama Yoga Center, which is on Koh Pangang. But I waited for Shakti to um, to settle our relationship and finalise our departure. And she ended up departing and I went through a little bit of emotional grief. I was thinking, oh, I wouldn't mind going over to Agama and hanging out with these hotties in bikinis and stuff. It was a little bit confrontational, but at that point in time I was tying sex into yoga a little bit, thinking that it was what Tantra was about, and I might as well, oh, not really, but I knew what Tantra was about, but everyone else thought it was to do with union of male and female bodies. <laughs> so I thought I might as well get in on the gig. <laughs> Go and shag some of these hotties in the bikinis. Life had different plans. Now, when I say life, I'm talking about my highest self. So first step was, I think I thought I would go out and socialise a little bit. So I went out on this pub crawl, got on the moped. I don't drink a lot. In the past, I smoked copious amounts of weed, but not a real big alcohol drinker because I've made so many bad decisions influenced by alcohol. So I went out on a pub crawl. <laughs> it was okay. I'm not the most social person though, I'm getting a bit better. <laughs> and I was minding how I was going because I was aware that I was riding home on a moped, about 7 k's. By then I'd moved to the other side of the island where um, I couldn't see Kopangang and I was really wondering what I was doing in Thailand anyway. But I was only like three, three weeks into my eight week holiday or something like that, I was hardly there. So, went out on the pub crawl. Suddenly I met this guy who's like the owner of the chains of restaurants or the manager of the big chain. And he shouted me three tequilas and with the salt and the lemon. I think it was three. Anyway, I'd already had like one or two beers or something. I'm trying to socialise. The tequilas knocked me. Within about half an hour, I was wrecked. I was so pissed. It, I'm actually disgraced. It's not a laughing matter. This is like more to do with a video in praise of the divine coordination of such an experience. But I got a bit munted, or extremely munted. Then I went back and jumped on my bike. I rode about three k's up the main road. And the last thing I remember was turning left onto the road that went across the island to where I was staying and it was like a hectic road mate it was like windy solid concrete downhills big uphills it was massive next thing I woke up the next morning or I was woken up by the staff checking if I was okay and there's videos to do with how I was injured and I had about 18 different impacts and didn't wear a helmet home and I was lucky to wake up. I'm so disgraced at my own behaviour because I have children and obligations and a purpose in life that I prefer to fulfil rather than clock out getting pissed on a moped in Thailand. So I was lucky that I survived. Anyway, waking up the next morning, all my ambitions of going to a Gama Yoga. My higher self put the kibosh on those. Um, because I had to go to the medical centre, get sewn up. I couldn't swim or anything. I could hardly walk because I was wounded and things like that. So I ended up just feeling sorry for myself, coming back early from my holiday, about four weeks early. 
It was crazy. But in hindsight, with all this Agama stuff coming out, with abuse, it's ongoing. You can see it everywhere. And I'm not really 100% convinced to do with the true, true tantrics. They talk about getting the raga out of the female through their penis, some sort of circulation of energy. I'm sketchy on the whole process because I, I experience God and I work in Kundalini in my everyday life. But I'd put in several lifetimes of effort to unify myself with the divine in previous lives, you know, so it was a piece of piss for me. So I'm very blessed and fortunate. A lot of people want to feel good or look into spirituality and then get sucked up in vulnerability when they get exploited by someone in power. I'm making this video just to say thanks to my higher self for almost killing myself. So I didn't go to a gamma and get caught up in the sexuality of spirituality and take it out of context. Instead, I just came home and focused more on building a temple dedicated to Sanskrit, the tantric philosophy, the philosophy of Shiva and Shakti, written in the Tantra Shastras, designed to awaken the Kundalini according to your elemental constitution and psychological and emotional predispositions. There you go. Praise the Lord or my higher self for letting me almost die and not go to a Gama Yoga. Share the world. Om Namah Shivaya. Peace.